any of it but I made my way out to a trail and when I got there uh, I stopped by this community center because I wanted to see if they had a track to somewhere I could run around because I'm trying to get fit you know I left found the trail and realized I did not have my wallet what made it more scary was I made my way to an actual track and field and I was chilling there for a bit, but the gate was locked. So I was trying to see if there was any openings around it so I didn't have to sneak in. And there wasn't. I was away from this little community center for at least like a good 30 to 40 minutes. And I'm just saying, I'm just saying, I'm very thankful, but I found my wallet. I cannot believe I forgot my wallet in the first place, but let's try to get this grind. Wow. Hey, what's up y'all? Surprisingly, I've been getting a lot of requests. I know I've never put one in a video, but this is a how to ollie real quick. After a while, you should be getting them really high like that. First thing I want to emphasize is the bend. It's really important to make sure you get used to it. It looks a little goofy, but I'm trying to emphasize it. After that, you want to learn how to put power on the back foot and pop it. This is my ollie position. I do have my toes in the center. You don't want to hang it off. If you don't happen to hang it off, I like to put a lot of pressure on the tip of my toes so when I'm popping off of it, it's a lot more of a jump feeling. You want to make sure you get used to sliding your foot over as well. It feels a little uncomfortable. I keep my foot under the bolts, that way it doesn't come off. Because when you slide your foot over, if you have it over too much, it could fly off. If you look at my friend's position, you notice that little slide over. That is important to make it be all you Right, now let's get them all these better. First things first, you want to make sure you emphasize all the crucial spots. It's the crouch, you have the lift off, you have the jump off, and then you have the part right here where it really makes a difference is you sliding your foot over and that really levels it out and that's how you get the highest ollie that you want to achieve. Now the front foot is important because just like this it looks silly I know, but it really makes the emphasis on how high you can bring it. You gotta make sure you're comfortable on the board first. After so, you start working on it and you can start flicking out them foots and you can start doing kick flips. Again, I'm really just emphasizing the foot out on this because it's really important to the base of the ollie. Now first things first, you wanna make sure you have that stance, you wanna make sure you're crouching right, and you really wanna make sure you do them all simultaneous because they all are a reaction that makes an ollie happen. Now don't worry, you don't have to work on it all at once, you can work on small pieces and tweaking is an important part because it can make a small ollie seem like it is so much higher. So this I really emphasize on the tipping because the tipping makes it a lot higher. So first things first, you want to make sure you're getting used to that pop. Just being able to pop off the tail and jump off of it comfortably. So once you've gotten a little more comfortable with the mechanisms of it, you gotta remember you gotta break it down piece by piece, but you don't only do it piece by piece. You need to remember that there's a simultaneous reaction of popping, jumping, sliding, and then bringing it back down. If you don't get used to bringing it back down, you want to make sure because if you just straight nosedive, that's a no-go. You're going to get bodied. So just remember, have fun. It is all a simultaneous reaction all together. It is a little scary, but just get used to jumping around your board and you will totally get it. Before I end this, do you have any tips on what you did to fix up your ollie? <laughs> uh, keep learning. That's the tip. Just okay. always, always keep learning from others. Do you have any troubles when you were doing it? What was Not the biggest trouble you had? Foot up. Okay, how'd you the get the, the back foot up? Uh, kind of popping a little forward uh, with it, but I think that's why I fuck up with my one or I do better 180s and ollies, so. Okay, so how'd you fix that? I did it, popping I'm still forward. trying to learn. Let me see what you got, let me see what you got. Dipping out, can you do me an ollie real quick? Ollie? Yeah. Ah. <laughs> one more, one more, one more. Too hard. What troubles do you have when you do ollies? I don't know. If I'm I really trying to get a pop, I'd mess them up. 
if I'm really trying to pop them, you know? Yeah. If it's just like a casual. So what'd you do to fix them? I just keep my shoulders straight, feel my foot back, and then try and bring my knees up as high as possible. Yeah? Alright. Alright, I'll get this right here, bro. Few minutes after dark with a cigarette in my head. Keep it up or you'll be dead. I'm killing time with pandemonium. Smoking this, gonna catch pneumonia. It's a damn cold night, should we walk it home alone? Improvement. 
going to this past event. It was kind of a wake up call, you know? That's how every skater cooks, by the way. Just want you to know. Reminds me, we can add some organic sushi. So yeah, I just wanted to end my night. I do like to cook. So yeah, I kind of just had a wake up call. Kind of just a lot of stuff kind of happening. I just realized that I need to do more. I need to be better and I'm not at my full potential. It kind of sucks to feel like things just start falling piece by piece and you don't realize it till there's a lot of yourself on the floor, you know? I made this video just because I wanted to set a reminder for myself. That's why I'm trying to grind more videos. That's what I want to do. I want to pursue this life of just making YouTube videos, being able to skate, hang out with homies, meet new people. Definitely lost a lot of people these past years and kind of let just everything kind of weigh me down and I realized I need to just pick myself up for everyone, for myself especially. I just want to be happy, you know? I feel like I've kind of let myself just go a bit numb and just wasn't really picking up all my weight. I used to work out always and protein shakes were like a treat. I started just dodging working out and I started just buying like cake. So it kind of just added up. I was just very thankful to finally have my own place. I've been wanting to make a video about that, but it feels kind of embarrassing. And I was talking to someone the other day and they said I should just do it. And I think I'm gonna do that. It makes sense, everyone has their own place. For me, it's kind of a long story of couch surfing and trying to pursue my dream in other ways. And thankfully I met the right people and they told me you can do it anywhere. So finally stable with my own place. And it's really a life changing feeling. So time to pick it up, time to put in work and have a good time, you know? More videos coming out soon, more effort, better tricks. I guess I'm just really thankful because I'm still here, I'm still kicking. I have a lot of people who I've seen these past days and still supporting me and it feels crazy because after everything, a little incident I had months ago, I was just really embarrassed to even reach out to anyone because I felt like people were gonna be embarrassed to be friends with. Kind of a dumbass, just someone who, I don't know, I have a video about it, just feel stupid and I feel like I didn't deserve to have the friends I had. Really broke it down and have seen who's kept up with me and very thankful to have those people in my life and I will treasure those people forever. And with that, I just wanna say, new workout regimens, we're gonna get fit again. Cooking still, you know what I'm saying? We be whipping it up. Remember, every skater cooks like this. So, wife one up, you know, but just wanna say, trying to do my best with it. Thank you all. Definitely comment and let me know to keep it up. Just want to say thank y'all for the ones who do watch consistently, the ones who actually watch my videos and not just shorts. I don't really get a big volume of views on my regular videos, which sucks because I grind them out, shorts take me like two seconds and they pop off. So um, if you made it to the end here, I just want to say thank you. This has pretty much been day one of me trying to, well, I guess day two because I worked out the other day. So day two of just really trying to get my stuff together and do my best. So. Thank y'all for looking out. Had a really fun at the Benjamin Skate event. Hopefully I put the video out. If I haven't, it'll be up very soon. I didn't really film too much. I wasn't doing great in it. It's like I said, it really was a part of that wake up call. So thank y'all for chilling out. I'm gonna enjoy my food and have a good night. Probably play some games. I do stream, check it out on Twitch. It is Akuma Hobbs. It is in the bio. If you follow that, I appreciate it. If not, it's totally cool. It's just something I like to do in the times where I'm kind of too sore. So thank you for watching and have a good one.